Let's turn around then. Why? Why? Turn me around, bro. All children are taught by their parents and teachers to behave and follow the law, but not every child is willing to succumb to abide by the rules of society. Yeah, knock it off. Okay. Oh, it's and for these transgressors, the police make sure to give a reality check. Here are five cases where rebellious children learn that the laws actually do apply to them. Starting off with the case of Mercedes, a 17-year-old, who is reported for a possible overdose. On 24th of August, 2022, the officers headed out for the search and instantly recognized the girl as she perfectly matched the description provided by the dispatch. Upon confirmation, the female officer got a hold of her without wasting any time. Her slurry speech and drowsy attitude are enough evidence that she is high, even now. Things escalate quickly. She starts overreacting. When she realizes that she could be going to jail, she takes out her anger on the officer by attempting to throw her down. But the officer easily handles the drunk teen and detains her. After putting her in the back of the car, they try to get in touch with her parents. Meanwhile, some witnesses get there and explain how she was acting before the arrival of the cops. Well, they can't get a hold of any family member whatsoever. I've been down the phone tree and no one's answering. Where does she live? Yeah, we can get an address. Yeah, we can get all that. We at least need to check out. I did a use of force. Yeah. Cool. Basically, laying on a bench. She was uh -huh. very incoherent. She got up Merce and was walking. Her name? Yeah. Mercedes. Around. And uh, she became super belligerent towards the staff members, yeah. like like she was with you. Yeah. Threatening to throw this at people and stuff like that. And then uh, she also has a history of. of yeah, she's in the back of mine. Okay. Was smoking in the bathroom last time. She might have some scratches on her knee or something. She tried swinging on me. So yeah, I just... saw. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mercedes? Yeah, she's got she some, right some demographics. There was just a typo, so we're going to get it fixed for you guys. And you guys are just... She just left the school, or you guys trying to get back? We were kind of following her around, just trying to make sure she didn't blow up or do anything to anybody else. And she got real belligerent and Karen said, what are you going to do, follow me off campus? And that's right when the officer pulled up. Yeah. And when she was inside, she was laying down. It looked like she was trying to go to sleep, and she just felt oh, yeah. incoherent. And then she got up and kind of was walking around and weaving, and then she started to become belligerent. She was threatening people, or? Um, she's threatening to throw a Gatorade bottle at her. She had it in her hand. Yeah. Yeah. 
While this is happening, another cop approaches Mercedes's mother, who is working in the cafeteria. She cannot get off during her work hours, so she gives the number of her Mercedes's stepdad, who shortly reaches the scene. Can you verify mom's number for me? Because step parents are not legal guardians of stepchildren, Mercedes's mother has to come. When she arrives, the officer who detained her daughter apologizes for troubling her and then tells her why they arrested Mercedes and how it all went down. Once I get there, I just escort her just by hanging on her arm back across the street. She keeps pulling, keeps pulling. I said, knock it off. We're going to go on the ground, knock it off. So we come, she tries to pry my hands off her. Keeps going, we keep walking. AMR's on scene, my sergeant's on scene, staff, and we come. She turns to try to hit me, and I sweep her to the ground quick. She doesn't have any injuries, put her in handcuffs, so she is uh, being charged today with assault on a peace officer. Okay. Um, resisting, obstructing, um, and then also, because she is on the system as a runaway. Yes. So we'll take her out of the system as a runaway. So she is being charged with those, um, which is a juvenile so, crisis three. Uh, me and Dad, because like I said, I was on the phone with uh -huh. Dad. We, we already know how she is. We've been having trouble with her for the past two years. Yeah. And she's been running away. Like, if I take her home right now, she's literally going to fight with me. I don't know if you guys are able to take her to jail to sober up or... Well, whatever. I don't... And the thing is, I don't know if she's per se under the influence. I think it's just her attitude, kind okay. of, is what it seems like. I didn't because because she's, she's, been, she's been medically checked out. Yesterday so when I went, got home from grocery shopping, uh -huh. she had three of her friends in my home. I kicked her friends out and that's why I called the cops because she ran away. Yeah. But they had alcohol in my home. Yeah, and that, that's what I looked so we could get your updated address because she says, oh no, I don't know my address. My mom's home sick of COVID. You can see from her body language and tone how hopeless and regretful she is for her daughter. But that's how spoiled kids act. And sadly, they are incurable unless they get disciplined by the cops. The officers think that this is enough of a lesson for Mercedes. So they let her go with some warnings. Uh, the school no longer wants you to attend here. Um, I am going to turn you over to him, but essentially it's going to be turn, turned over to mom. She has a little bit of paperwork and I will take you out of the system as a runaway. I will give you some advice. Uh, if you keep running away or whatever these little charges you think are nothing, they will become enough where you will be taken to jail. Um, I requested detention today to take you to jail and they didn't. But I can tell you, if you keep doing this, you definitely will. You'll get taken to jail over this. You won't be released to mom or dad or stepdad, whoever it may be. So, I mean, if that's the road you want to go, then by all means, keep doing what you're doing. Um, but it's a very simple thing. All you have to do is listen to me and stop. And I would have brought you back, called mom, and released you to mom. But now you have three charges on you today. I don't know if you're trying to show off for the people outside, but it didn't quite work out in your favor. Do you have any questions or anything for me? Once your mom comes out, you're more welcome to sit in the car with him. Once your mom comes out, I just have the paperwork that you and your mom both need to sign, and then I'll get you on your way, okay? All right, over with him. That brute lecture from the officer can knock some sense into anyone, but not Mercedes, who starts behaving aggressively after getting into the car with her stepdad. It gets too much chaos that the cops again have to interfere, but they get shocked by the blatant slander of Mercedes towards her own mother. My mom, she's pissing me off. I'm just trying to go home and I'm literally trying, she says she's gonna take me to my dad, but they took my bed and everything, so she needs to put that back. And I told her that she needs to put it back. That's literally all that happens is she keeps yelling at me and everything, bro. I'm not doing nothing. I'm literally not doing nothing. Have you been in trouble with JPL before? Yes, because they thought I hit my mom, but she's the one that was hitting me and I just pushed her off of me. Did they take you to the detention center yet? No. Is that something you want to do? No, I'm just trying to go home, bro. I'm literally just trying to go home and go to I, sleep. I get that, man, but you're going to have to chill and relax for okay, a while. Okay, why? Woo! You know what I mean? This is getting me mad, bro. I, I, I didn't even I get do it, nothing. But... Why is she yelling at me for? Are you going to let me talk? What? Are you going to let me talk? I'm listening to you. Mercedes, do you want to go to jail? No. Oh, is that what you want? Who wants to go to jail? Well, is there anything like you want to? I don't. I just want to go home. I haven't 
left. I haven't ate or nothing, bro. I'm freaking so mad. So here's the thing I get that I get you frustrated as, as hell right now. But the way you're acting, too. Okay, well, I'm sorry. What else do you want? Are you, you going to be able to just right. relax and chill till you get home? Yeah, me? I'm sorry. Her constant whining is unbearable. This entitled kid acts as if everyone else is deliberately trying to irritate her, which is both comedic and ironic, considering she is the one, annoying the hell out of everyone else. She is also ungrateful for the fact that her mother left work and went through all the trouble for her. Your, mom's, your mom went through all this trouble, came off of work today. Okay, well, that's not my fault. They should have just But listen to what I'm alone. saying. I and mean, then you're sitting here being disrespectful. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. You keep saying you're sorry, but I can't leave you annoying if you're going to keep acting up like this. I'm not. Mercedes, do you understand that your actions are prolonging all of this? Yes, I okay. know. I'm sorry. So you can stop with your actions. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. We'll get home and get some food and get some sleep. After calming her down, the cops talk to her mother and she decides to send Mercedes to counseling for help. Regardless, Mercedes faces charges of battery upon a peace officer and resisting arrest. But not every mother is as graceful as her, as the mother of this 13-year-old girl who goes against the law to support her ill-mannered daughter. On March 7, 2023, the Sierra Middle School's staff called the cops on a drunk minor student. When the cops got there, she started lying and misbehaving. It's not in here. We just, no, it's right there. It's not right here. She just, unless you guys want to see my away. Hmm? Can you she give it to me? She just dropped it outside. Yeah, it's right there. It's right there. It's in her house. It's in her house. It's right there. I can see the bulge in your house. It's right there. Where? I can see the bulge. What bulge? She has a right there. Were you guys wearing them underwear or what? No, I do not, ma'am. I bet you guys do because you guys keep assuming. Not assuming. That's it. It's right there. I see the lid. See? Yep. No, you're not. Yeah, pull that out. No, Whatever it is. Pull it out. No. There's nothing in there. Yeah. Well. Why should I put just like the beer or With alcohol, man. I don't have alcohol. Okay. okay. I don't have alcohol this for. I didn't drink it. I didn't drink alcohol. It's in your pants, so. Okay. You're already going to be charged, so can I have it or not? And you told us where it's at. We know that it's in your pants. No, it's not. I just saw it. We saw it. Miss Dawn and I saw it. I saw the body. It's there. We saw it. I don't believe it. So can I have it or not? If not, it doesn't matter. I'm still going to charge you. Thank you. Okay. No question. She must be delusional for denying something that both the faculty and the cops can clearly see. When she realizes that she can get into big trouble for this, she quickly rings up her mum, and while calling her mother might not be a problem, abusing and insulting the staff definitely is. The officer immediately gives her a shut up call and warns her about getting handcuffed, but she still does not take it seriously. Okay, 
Wait, let me cuff the other one. Come on, you can't cuff the other one. I have to. Fuck that shit. Because you're detaining me. Okay, move now. No, not yet. Oh, I'm gonna... She does not seem to work on logic as she continues to repeat the exact thing that got her arrested. And to make things worse, she starts resisting and even goes on to threaten the officer. Thank you. This ain't no type of situation. Move! I feel like the other punk! After all the dust has settled, her mother appears at the scene and starts acting hysterically without thinking about the situation. It's apparent that she does not know what her daughter did prior to the arrest, even after getting multiple warnings from the officer. She voluntarily brought it all upon herself, and to convey this properly, another officer had to step up. Is mom? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, how is it we can try to help you? Um, I don't know what happened. Okay. <laughs> well, your daughter was here on school grounds. She's a physician of alcohol. Okay, yep. She had a little bottle of vodka, 99% proof, whatever it is she was drinking. She seems intoxicated. She started getting combated with the staff because they were trying to take the bottle away and they were trying to get So she had it tucked in her pants and they wanted to retrieve it. The bottle that she had, she was drinking out of it. So she can't be in possession, obviously, of alcohol. When she was here, when she called me in this area, she was, Mom, come pick me up. Yeah. And, and what happened? They drove her over there and they jumped They didn't her. drive her over there. She got escorted <laughs> over there and then she, she had a phone. Her. The principal says, Give me the phone. I don't need to be uh -huh. texting your friends, telling yeah. me I'm here. It's a school again. Yeah. A little less. Your daughter again went for the alcohol bottle again on the table. She doesn't drink. I don't know what, but she had it on her. She doesn't drink. Right now. You can, I, don't you, drink. I know, you can tell me. I don't know if she got it from another student, the fact that she had it. You know what I mean? Uh, so even right now, now yeah. she slipped out of the cuffs yeah. and charged again. Oh, no. What's going to happen? I don't want her to be you know, all obvious. Like, um, that's just what Sarah was picking because I, I don't know. She, the, did we... The officer originally put the cuffs on her just to hold her because she wasn't. Oh, where is she wearing all the table and had the stuff? Huh? She's not. Because she was already legend at the principal. She, okay. So she became a threat to the people in that okay. small. Okay. So, so the supervisor was there. Oh, yes. Oh. But, so the office in which the principal is, it's smaller than this. I know that, but can, you, can my daughter come over here right now? Excuse me? Can my daughter come over here with me right now? Right now, we're filling out the paperwork. She is being charged with three different things. I'm going to fight that, and I, I want full footage of everything that took place today. That's fine. So, okay. Am I not going to take my daughter right now? She's going to, as soon as they finish the paperwork. At first, she listens to the officer, and while knowing full well the extent of her crime, she tries to defend and justify her daughter's actions. Listen to me. That's not your, 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 your definition of safety is not as same as ours. 
So we unhandcuff her and she lunges and gets the principal or staff. So keep her handcuffed out of the building. Uh, once we release her to you, she's unhandcuffed because okay. you take her. Okay. okay. But as long as she's in our custody, she's Can fine. I go back to the Not yet. There's not enough room. There's oh, so many I people. Don't know. Why is everybody in the room? Because she's acting out the way she is. I know. Like, you just have to be in there, officer. Come on. Excuse me? Not for her. Please, I have to be there. She got we have... Give her a citation. We have two security okay. guards in there, two female security guards. Okay. okay. We have the principal, and assistant principal, and the officer. Okay. That's how many people are in there, in that small room. Four people, I don't know. Yes. They're not on her. They're not. While this officer is trying his best to preach rules and regulations, the daughter continues on with her disrespectful and argumentative behavior in the other room. Like, well, how much parts are there? Because like, I can see a lot of documents. There's three charges. Down. There's three charges. Okay, sorry. Okay, you're looking better in school personnel. You're looking resisting and uh, the alcohol. That's a lot, huh? That's like that, huh? When you're older, huh? Well, the one with the teacher, the school personnel, that's a felony. Stupid. That's but stupid. nothing happened with the teacher. It doesn't have to happen. You don't have to injure somebody. It just has to be documented. As long as you touch that person. I didn't even touch that person. She touched my phone. I didn't touch my phone. No. I had my phone in my hand. She reached for my okay. phone and, I, and she kept trying to reach for my phone. I'm holding it in my and position. Like, no, it was in my position. You had it right there on the desk. But then when, at one point did she have it with her? No. She was laying on the desk like that and I was like, let me see my phone. And I grabbed my phone. I had it in my hand and she goes to reach it and then she kind of getting my finger off. Well, and then all this, yeah, all this stuff is stuff you can explain. Like this, okay. All this stuff is what you can explain. Yeah. Later, yeah. I mean, but right now, that's what it is. Wait, you guys are gonna take these off? Are you guys retarded? So you guys have to keep them on the whole time. You guys are they're, retarded. Look how loose they are. You act like they're bro, tight. Bro, bro, they're tight at first, and they're still on here, and it's still affecting. Yes. Are you retarded or what? I guess all you guys are, huh? Oh no, shit! They're not intended to be on me. Where are they intended to be on? I'm your f on. But you're asking questions that you don't want to ask. Fuck you. Okay. you. Whoa! What is she talking about? Stupid. Start cussing out like. And what about it? Hey, when are you gonna get my phone? I'm gonna give it to your mom when we release you to her. Well, why don't you just give it to her right now or when she, you see her or whatever the the cops have to tolerate her until they print out the legal form for her mother to sign so that she can take her daughter home with her. After she signs, they let the girl go. Hey, what the f happened to my computer? Your mom has it. Are you sure? Yes. Ah, oh, finally. Wait up. Ah, oh, you bitches. Wait on my you want Shut up. I'm going to f you. I'm not going to see you again. Let's go. This is what she has. This is what she has. However, the mother is not totally convinced by the officer's reasoning for detaining her daughter, so she files a complaint to the department later on. She put my daughter on the ground, and my daughter's a minor. Okay. I think that's angry to me. Okay. Okay, so obviously um, there has to be reason that any kind of officer uses force. And what about a camera? Should he have? Yep. Is he supposed to have a camera on at all times? Yes. With minors? Yes, correct. Yes, most okay. definitely. Most okay. definitely. Okay. 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 And having all these other securities, like, get on top of my daughter. One of them was even sitting on top of my daughter. Okay. And I want to know, because um, I'm sure it would be anybody else's kid. If somebody says, hey, this person threw me down. And mm -hmm. if somebody hits me, I took an assault because they threw me on the ground. And Officer threw me on the ground. I think my head and shit, my knees. And then he, he mm -hmm. continued to put his knee on my hair. And then he started getting me a handcuffs or trying to. Okay. And then uh, he had me like down face first, and then afterwards all the three security guards started attacking me. Okay. I want to put a, um, a charge on that officer for battering my daughter. Cause he has no right, regardless of what they're trained, nobody has a right to uh, throw anybody on the ground and have them bang their head and okay. keep their head, their, their leg pressed on their, on their head for what? 
Regardless of the complaint, the minor was charged with battery on school personnel, resisting arrest, and minor in possession of alcohol. But she's not the only 13-year-old who's causing trouble at school. On March 10, 2022, the police department responded to a call about a conflict between two students at school and the 13-year-old female involved in the fight had gotten out of control. When the cops arrived, the female did this. Stop. Stop. Go in the room and chill out. There's no one That's all it has here. to be He's right now. Okay? It's gotta end. Can you do that? Move! Can you go in that room okay, and chill? Okay, move! Go ahead. I'm gonna trust you. No. Shut up. Nah, bro, we will he bring it f***ing and swing on his dumb f***ing head. But that's what we're trying to prevent. Huh? We're trying to prevent that. Go ahead. He's not in this one. Come on. The girl first tries to run away from the cops, and when she is ordered to stay inside the room, she starts damaging the school's property. She appears to have severe anger issues, which only get intensified with time. You're lucky you ain't in handcuffs right now. Bro, you lucky I'm not trying to go to jail today. Cause if I was, I would have got your gun and shot your Nope. I would have tried. It's not gonna solve nothing. Man, I wouldn't have cared if I wanted to go to jail tonight, bro. You lucky I just got at 21, bro. Three weeks ago. The day I came to school, the day that I got 21, bro. You lucky. You think that scares me? No, it doesn't. Let me tell you damn well I'm gonna try to go back, man. She straight up disregards the officer's commands and even goes on to indirectly threaten him. If this goes on, the cops will have to do whatever is necessary to contain her. Turn around. Get on the door. We're not playing this. Now you're going to jail. If you want to continue playing like this, now you're going to jail for battery on law enforcement. That's how you want to do this? Then that's how we'll do it. Because we gave you that opportunity to chill out. But if you want to play this game, we'll play it. That's SRO 107. Show me out on a bat Leo. My status is 10 4. I need a unit for transport. You want to play this? That's how she slings a bottle of applesauce in the direction of the officer, which is an attempt to assault. At this point, the officer has had enough and immediately arrests her. It's interesting to note that as soon as she gets handcuffed, all the wrath disappears completely. Now she has entered a sulking phase, during which she has her big ego to entertain. I don't care. Well, you should. You just got out doing 21? So you're probably getting 21, just so you know. Man, f it. I don't care, bro. If I do that shit, I don't care right now, bro. You look at it and hit you in your chest with that yep. Yes, I don't care if it's on camera. Well, you know, that's fine. No problem. Yeah, a little bit, seems like it. We had a student who had a little bit of a moment and was upset and then decided to take it upon herself to sling a applesauce at me. So we tried to give her the opportunity to chill out and she decided not to, so now she's gonna go to jail for Bat Leo. I don't know, maybe. Mm -hmm. we're, we're gonna resolve this now. Because it went from her throwing a water bottle over the kid to doing, you know, all this. But I actually had other units here. If you want, I'll give you a call in. Bye. Corp, I'm gonna start fixing Last time, these cops didn't, didn't put these at all. Didn't put handcuffs on No, you? they did. When I went to 21, they did. But, like, they were so loose that I could easily sip them up, put them on my feet, put them on my wrist. Like, I you could go into your car, I, The man didn't even freaking lock them. He didn't lock the cups. Last time the man didn't That's even lock them. That's very SRO of you, sir. He didn't even lock them? Nope. That's terrible. Layla, you know why you're going to jail, right? Yep. Battery gets an officer. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What's that is? Those are unsafe. Oh. Do you have anything on? No. Yeah, that's her uh, something. Here you go, Bryce. This year something now. Those on her wrist. 
I don't believe she has any personal property, but I'll double check. As more and more time passes, the girl slowly accepts what she did wrong and agrees that she conducted battery on a peace officer. But that won't stop her from arguing with the officer, with the hopes of somehow justifying her actions. Because you threw a damn applesauce at me. I That's didn't cool. mean to! You did. You said no, F you corporal and threw it at me. You said F you corporal and then threw no, it at me. I didn't. <laughs> And then threw the applesauce. Yes, <laughs> at him. At my knee. I didn't mean to throw These it at you. These are my good pants too, man. These are even the ones with the busted clouds. Uh. That's all right. Look. Uh. Hey, man. No hard feelings. I got to take action. Uh, 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 see? You it's all on camera. No hard feelings. I got to take action. Hopefully you get out. You it's a personal that, I'm, that I am... Personally offended. You are personally gonna make better choices I and not throw not blue applesauce at somebody in green, right? That's right. I can't well, what she's saying. She's not gonna make better choices, especially when you're around. You I think you will. And you know what's bad is we had you de-escalated and calmed down and nothing would have happened. You would have maybe been suspended. The girl is later sent to the station, where she officially gets charged with battery upon a peace officer. But this girl's mistake is not as severe as Treviso's, a 19-year-old girl who got arrested on murder charges for allegedly dumping her newborn in the hospital trash. The incident took place in January, and after four months of investigation, on 10th May 2023, the police arrived on her doorstep. You know, she has a warrant for her arrest. We don't have a search warrant for your house. We have a warrant for her arrest. Okay, can we see the warrant? Yeah, once we get She gets a copy of it. Can I go up there when you take her up there? You can go to the detention. Do you know where it is? Everything? It's okay, nowhere. so what is she under arrest for? She's over 18. She's got to talk I, okay. I understand that, right. Detective Gonzalez. Right. What is she under arrest for? She has a warrant for arrest. Okay? For what? That's all I'm going to tell you. Okay. What do you mean that's all you're going to tell me? For what? For what? For what? Are you okay with telling me? Tell homicide. me. Homicide. Open count on homicide. And tampering with evidence. Tampering with evidence? Yes. At the hospital? Yes. So, can you see her now? Give me a minute. Her mother keeps demanding the reason for the arrest, but the officers do not want to disclose the sensitive information. After strong insurance from her mother to see the warrant, the officers tell her that it is an open count of homicide and tampering with evidence. Immediately after, she gets on the phone and appears to be talking to Treviso's attorney inside the home for a bit. When she comes out, she is in a completely different frame of mind. It's nothing personal, it really isn't. And we understand, but we have to do our jobs too. Okay? I understand this, that, I understand person. that. That's, that's not what that's uh, Devin's, Devin's mom. She's, she's good, she's okay. We're not going to be rough with her anymore. Please, we're just going to take her over there and book her. Please don't be rough with her, please. Okay. <laughs> just bring her out. You can be with her the entire time. Okay? Do you know where the public safety complex is? 3200 West Main? You can follow us over there. I will take you there. You can follow me over there. The mother breaks down, and after pleading with the officers to be gentle on Treviso, she eventually brings her daughter out. That's all. I'll, I'll go get it. Alexia. Are you okay with your mom getting your trouble complaint when we get to the detention center? It has your personal information you on it. That? Do you want? Are you okay with your mother getting the criminal complaint? It has your personal identifying information on it. Serial number, date of birth. Yes. Are you okay? Yes. Okay. Go ahead. I have to serve you first, then your mom can get it. Okay. Okay. No medications, anything you need to take while you're in there. No, sir. No. Okay. She has still been um, like bleeding. So I don't know if she needs. Do you one. have any? Uh, they do, I don't know if they, they have tampons. Have, they do have feather products. Okay. Okay. But I'm pretty sure if you take your own, you can use your own. Can she? Yes. Do you want to grab some? Can she grab some of that real quick? Or? Yes. Do you mind if Get your little bag. One of us goes with you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. The 19-year-old appears to have accepted her charges and does not show any signs of confusion or surprise. 
Before coming into the car, the cops allow her to retrieve some pads before continuing on with the procedure. West Main Street, the public safety complex. If you just go through the front door, you know where we spoke, first spoke in the records? Yeah. If you just go over there. Is there any force? Yeah. Okay. I'll meet her on the front. Okay. I'll get with him and do all stuff. Go to dispatch. Okay. I'll meet you in the front. Okay. <laughs> take her to the base, where they perform a few tests on her. Okay. Alexi, here's your criminal complaint. Why well, I want to ask you before I give it to your mom, are you okay with her getting that information? Serial number, all that? Okay. Would you like me, to, would you want to keep this to read or, or would you want to give this to your mom or would you want her to have a copy? Um, you can just give it to her. Okay, do you, you don't want to read it? Um, right now, yeah, I will. Okay. All right, the next one is a search warrant for your person. Okay? This is for you. Your date of birth, your social security number. I'm going to be searching your person. What I'm going to be doing is getting a buccal swab sufficient for laboratory testing. Okay? This is both yours to keep. Okay? Okay. I'll make a copy so you can read it and your mom can get one, okay? Have you ever been to the doctor's office? Recently. No, just in your life? Yes. Okay, you know when they do a uh, swab of your mouth to see if you have a cold, something like that? Yeah. That's all I'm going to be doing. All I need you to do is open your mouth wide like you're yawning. I'm just going to touch the inside of your mouth with a swab, with a con swab. That's all I need, okay? It's painless. There's, there's nothing else added to it. It's just cotton, okay? After giving the swab tests, Treviso gets booked for first-degree murder and gets released after posting a $100,000 bond on May 16th. Her trial is scheduled for October, where she can face up to life in prison if found guilty. Investigators claim Treviso went to an Artesia hospital in January complaining of severe back pain. While she was there, hospital staff members believed she locked herself inside a bathroom, gave birth, and then stuffed the baby into the bathroom's trash can. The reports found some air in the baby's lungs, which means that he was alive at the time of birth. While Treviso got arrested for killing a baby, these eight kids were handcuffed for simply storming McDonald's. On October 8, 2023, a group of eight children was causing a stir and behaving disruptively inside a McDonald's in Riverfall. The manager told them to leave, but they refused to listen, so the police had to get involved. If you just walked in, time to leave, or you're going to be subject to trespass and we'll be arrested. I gave you the water before you came in, they didn't want you in here. Time to leave, folks. Time to leave. I'm not playing. Time to go. Time to go. One, two, six, four. I've got any more cars at McDonald's. If you don't start leaving, my handcuffs are coming on. First person I grab is going. You already ordered? Come over here. You have a ticket? What about you? Do you have a ticket? All right. Just come over here, guys. Okay? Inside McDonald's. The police officer gives the kids several warnings, but they seem to ignore him, like he is not even there. But he still tries to resolve the matter with verbals only. No, time to go. I know you just didn't say what I think you said. It's time to go. I'm not playing around now. Listen, from the manager, he wants everybody out. Okay? So you need to start leaving. You... I'm telling you that. Okay? I already taught the manager. So you just stop leaving, or oh, we're going to start locking people up. No. No, I'll, we have another people here. here. Alright, time to go. Time to go. Alright, all the first enemies. Time to go. Alright, 
don't know why. Huh? I don't know why. Because he doesn't want anybody in here. So you mean mad people can stay here, but I don't We're kicking everybody out. We've got more cars coming. There's all these other people here. So I'm not ordering, so get them out. But right now, I'm talking to you. So you're Yep, time to go. Yeah, so you're your gang. What is it? So your gang. All right, that's what it is. Go. They finally move off the premises of the restaurant, but the episode does not end there. When the group sees that the officer has become lenient, they try to sneak back in. Time to go. You're not going back in. Yo, who are you touching, bro? I'm touching you. You're not going back in. Time to go. Time to go. That's my little brother's coming with me too, all right? That's my little brother's coming with me. That's my little brother's coming with me. No, he's not. For the second time, these kids appear to leave the area, but guess what? The officer finds them inside again, and this time, he does not want to take any more chances. You! You're under arrest. What? You're under arrest. You're under arrest. While this boy has lost his temper and orders the officer to leave him, one of the female children jumps in on the scene and gets herself arrested too. After the boy realizes that he might be in some serious problem, he puts on an act and asks the reason for his arrest, even though he knows what he did wrong. This incident led to eight children getting arrested with charges of trespassing, resisting arrest, disorderly conduct, and disturbing the peace. One of them also faced charges of assault and battery on a police officer.